continue creating a floral composition. The branch has already been woven. Now I propose you getting to know such a sharp element. Let's call it spire. I believe it looks rather nice in floral compositions. This element is based on a flat woven stripe originating from straw weaving. This item is made of six basic tubes, while here I've got eight. I prefer wider stripes, so today I'm showing you the one like this. So, I've got eight tubes. I've already mentioned what kind of tubes these are and what kind of paper they are made of. Now let's start weaving a normal flat stripe. I've tied the tubes together with the help of a thread, so let's start. As for this tail, I'm going to finish it later. Start like this, onto one tube, under one, onto one, under one. A normal flat woven stripe with no peculiarities. The next row, onto the second tube, under the third one. The main challenge is to be careful enough in the second row to avoid confusing anything. The next row, onto one tube, under one, onto one, under one. Everything is easy here. After we weave a few rows this way, we are going to pull the tubes tighter carefully. Onto one, under one. Like this. Start from this side once again and shift to the opposite side. Tighten carefully. Got it. In this direction weave as follows. Under one, onto one. One, two. Get back here and continue weaving this way up to the end. My first pairs were single colored, like in this straw emulating composition. So, if you'd like a single colored item, just continue in the same very way. As for these spires meant for the next floral compositions, I've tried weaving flat stripes alternating dark and light tubes. So, you can play with the colors the way you like. The same concerns this composition, where I've interlaced yellow tubes into a brick red stripe. So I experimented. As for the flowers, I've decided to make them multicolored as well. Continue weaving a stripe until the tube is over. If you need very long stripes, you can lengthen the tubes. I've woven up to the tube ends. Untie the thread and get back to the opposite end. Finish the tail according to the same very principle. Tighten the tubes simultaneously. I've borrowed the idea of this spire from all their weaving. I found it on the net and felt like applying it to the paper weaving. So, I woven as much as the tube lens has allowed. Now it's time for such an interesting technique. Twist the stripe like this. Now let's prepare the base. I use normal painted newspaper tubes as a base. They are more rigid when get dry. As an option you can paint a barbecue skewer, it can serve as a good base too. 
So I'm hugging the base with the stripe coils. Tie the stripe to the base carefully with the help of a thin tube. We don't need the top to be too long, so cut the tails gradually in order to reduce it to nothing. Something like this. You can drop some glue. Coil by coil, wrap carefully up to the end, masking the tubes. As a result, I've got a tube, a branch, sorry, like this. Varnishing can make it still more bright and shiny. I personally like such elements in floral compositions. As for the flowers, last year we were making wreaths for Midsummer Night. We will share the link to that tutorial. Those who got interested in these floral compositions can watch how to create such flowers in it. As for how to mix the elements, it's up to you to think of the composition. You may add some other elements or create flowers of a different shape. It's up to your imagination. Well, I hope your imagination is going to fly high.